within this past weekend, you've seen four great pitchers go down in a 48-hour period. Um, you had the Marlins, Erie Perez, the Guardians, Shane Bieber, Brave, Spencer Strider. There's been a lot of like, solid guys that went down in the matter of 48 hours of baseball. And then you still got multiple people who are recovering from these pitcher injuries um, that have previously occurred. Otani is one of them, Batista, Garrett Cole. Like there's so many people and these are Cy Young winners. These are MVPs, all-stars, people who are, are bringing a lot of fans to these games to watch them play. And, you know, if you don't solve this issue of them pitchers in general getting hurt from pitching the ball, you're going to have a problem on your hand. Now, the thing that bothered me here, and let me clarify, the MLB's uh, Player Association, they blamed these injuries on um, the pitch clock. You know, they said, oh, well, the pitch clock is a big reason of why you see so many guys throwing out their arm, hurting their elbows, hurting forearms, hands, whatever the case is, whatever they're hurting, shoulder, all of the different ligaments in, you know, a person's body that they're hurting, especially when they're pitching the ball. And I'm going to tell you right now, bro, the pitch clock is not the answer. The pitch clock saying that's the reason why these guys have these injuries is just one solid excuse because we know what the real reason is. Uh, I personally haven't seen anybody um, struggle within this 15 to 18 second window frame of pitching the ball. Anytime I've watched the MLB game, most pitchers have looked fairly comfortable throwing the ball between 18 seconds. I've watched it and I'm like, OK, I don't see anyone, you know, flustered to throw the ball 15 to 18 seconds each time. So to me, when I'm looking at this, I'm like, all right, let's look at what happened in the past. Let, let's look at in between when these injuries start to occur and when they weren't happening as often. The main thing I think of is these substances that people use to stick on the ball and to stick on their hands to have a better grip. This decreases the amount of hits because guys are throwing a little bit faster. They're throwing with a better curve. They're putting some more spin on the ball. All of those things can be looked at as a negative, but you got people who are healthy as well. So for the MLB, they got to find some sort of middle ground in terms of, you know, what's good, what's acceptable, how much sunscreen, how much spider tech can be used to prevent these injuries. Because when you think about this injury of, of throwing a baseball, when you don't have this substance on there to help you keep your grip on the ball, it's, it's kind of hard because you have to squeeze the ball harder than what you're usually doing. And then when you're throwing at 110 miles per hour or, or 90 miles per hour, this is insane to do. And it's going to hurt your forearm. So you look at from the wrist all the way to your elbow and you're constantly gripping a baseball as hard as you can to maintain a grip before you throw it, it's going to hurt. Something has to be figured out, a common middle ground of how much you can use or whatever to prevent these injuries because you know, guys have even said in the past that they they didn't really feel any type of pain pitching the ball until they stopped using these sticky substances. So bring these sticky substances back and allow your guys to, you know, throw as fast as they can, put some extra spin on it and just moderate how much they can use, moderate how long or, or whatever the case is. That's not for me to figure out, but that's for the MLB Player Association to figure out because you got to keep your guys healthy. If you don't have healthy stars, if you don't have healthy Cy Young winners, MVPs, All Stars that's playing in these or, or that's playing in these particular matchups or these anticipated matchups, people aren't gonna want to watch the games. They're not gonna want to pay money to go sit and watch the games. And then if someone is hot, who's to say they won't hurt themselves pitching without using the substance? It may not happen immediately, but they pitch a couple weeks and, you know, pitch a couple weeks and they might start to feel it over time.